How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own scoreboard for your own Minecraft realm or world. As you can see on the right side of the screen, it shows my money and how much I have and it will show this for all the players in your world or server. It's really simple and easy to do. I'm also going to show you guys how to make sure that there's no player offline error that a lot of people have. Also another error that people have where if you leave, it resets your money. And also I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the same system to make a buy and sell shop for your Minecraft realm or world. But I'd like to say thank you guys so much for 2100 subscribers we're so close to 2200 and if this video does help you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but anyways let's get right into the video so the first thing you want to do is you want to start off as a clean slate and have no objectives if you do have objectives just get rid of them by doing slash scoreboard objectives remove and then remove all the ones that you have listed on the left side of the screen there should be some listed if you have any but i do not have any so that's why it's blank but i recommend just starting over and following along so you guys know exactly how to make it and this will work guaranteed but once you removed all your objectives just do slash scoreboard objectives add and then this is going to be our first scoreboard objective we're going to add it's going to be simple it's going to be money dummy money just like this and then once you click enter you'll get a notification that it's been successfully made and to double check if it's been made you could do slash scoreboard objectives remove and then on the left side of the screen it'll say money and then the second objective you want to add is slash scoreboard objectives add money display dummy and after dummy you could get creative with it do color do bold text or anything else i'm gonna get fancy with it and i'm gonna do this sauce symbol and then do sauce a because that's a color of green or i could do sauce e like yellow but i'm doing a and then doing money so yeah i'm gonna do sauce a money and this is gonna be what's displayed on the right side of the screen i'm gonna click enter now and boom it's made and to double check again do slash scoreboard objectives remove and as you can see there's money and money display so you just made both of the objectives and you do not see anything on your screen don't worry i'm gonna show you guys how to make this next contraption which is gonna help with the player offline issue that people are having where people log off and it still shows that their name's on the scoreboard and this contraption will also help with your buy and sell shops as well so follow along but first you want a command block so do slash give your name and then command underscore block like this then you're going to also want a observer a redstone and a redstone comparator then anywhere you want in the world starting on this right side you want to go up three command blocks like this and as you can see all of them are facing the same way make sure they're all facing with arrow up it cannot be like wonky like this where it's like one of them's up and then the other two are sideways it just has to be all up like this so once you have them all settled like this we're gonna get right into the commands this bottom one it's going to be a repeat unconditional always active and the command is gonna be test for at a meaning it's gonna test for all the players in the game as you can see it says it's found gabe with the previous output being on always put the previous output on because it shows you what could be wrong or what's happening with the command block so i recommend putting that always on but yeah like i said this is just testing for the players in the game this next command block is going to be a chain conditional and always active and this next one is going to be scoreboard players add at a money display zero and what this is doing is pretty much just giving people a zero score on the board so that their name's on there with a zero when they join. Then this third command is going to be the longest command for this whole video. It's going to be a chain. It's going to be a conditional and always active. And it might be the longest command, but it's going to be super simple as well. So the command is execute at, at a run scoreboard players operation. Make sure you spell all this right too. At P money display equal sign at p money just like that and don't be worried if you see this fail to execute scoreboard as null right now because we're just starting with commands it won't like read anything then you want to get your redstone comparator put it like that and then you want to grab your observer and go into the other side skip a block and then make sure the eyes are facing this comparator don't place the redstone in the middle just yet you're gonna want to place these command blocks right behind it like this stacking another three behind it just copying what we did here but these command blocks are different so this one's going to be an impulse unconditional needs redstone and this command block is scoreboard objectives remove and then money display just like that the second one's going to be a chain it's going to be conditional and always active and this command is going to be scoreboard objectives add money display dummy and then after this dummy it's gonna be the same as the second command you did for your objectives adding them so mine was the sauce a and then money so that's green money and this might be the same or different for you guys depending on what you guys chose and then that's the second command block i'm going to the last one we got a chain we got a conditional and always active and then previous output on this one's going to be scoreboard objectives set display sidebar 
and then it's gonna be money display and that was pretty much the last command and once you have everything situated and put into the blocks you're going to want to place your redstone and when you look on the right side of the screen when i place it you will see that it pops up boom it says money gave dala zero and what you can do is actually you know you can add money so i can add 500 points to me i can add 100 i can remove 500 i can remove 100 and it works simple just like that all right now that you got your scoreboard made i'll show you guys how to make that scoreboard into a shop so this one is a buy 16 diamonds for 500 points or a sell 16 diamonds for 500 points. So as you can see, I have no diamonds on me and I could buy diamonds for 500 points, but I don't even have the points to buy it. So when I have exactly 500, I actually buy this and it will give me 16 diamonds. And then I could also sell it for 500 and get my money back as well. And some people might be like, well, Gabe, uh, someone could throw a diamond away and get it with 15. Well, for this shop you cannot do it for 15 as you can see i have 15 diamonds it won't give me 500 points i need exactly 16 diamonds to get the 500 points and if i have 600 points like you see on the screen i could buy it and it'll still keep 100 points and give me the diamonds as well so yeah it works pretty pretty well actually so let me show you guys how to make this shop all you want to do is do slash give your name command underscore block and you'll receive one Make sure that when you place the button, it's directly behind this uh, command block that you have and make sure that all the command blocks are facing the same way. Don't have it where three are facing the same way and then like the last one is facing sideways. You wanna make sure that they're all facing the same way or else it will not work. But yeah, that's gonna be the shop for buying the item or the diamonds in this case. Uh, it's gonna be an impulse unconditional needs redstone and the command is slash scoreboard players test at P money 500, meaning that it's gonna test the player who clicks the button if they have 500 money. And if they don't, then it will not activate the rest of the command blocks. This next command block is going to be a chain, conditional, always active. And this is a slash scoreboard players remove at P money 500, meaning that once it checks the player has 500 money, it will get rid of it. And then it'll go to this next command block, which is a chain, conditional, always active. And this is slash give at P diamond 16, meaning it'll give the closest player who clicks the button. 16 diamonds and you could change this item to whatever you want so it could be like a gold ingot and it could be 16 of them and you know you could do that or 32 gold ingots but for this example i do have diamond 16 and this last command block is optional it's a chain conditional always active and it's slash play sound random dot orbit p meaning it'll play the closest player who clicks the button a sound when it activates all of these. And personally, I like adding the sound effects at the end of all the command blocks because it lets the player know that something has happened and the transaction has been complete. So when I click it, you'll hear a dinging sound. And then when you sell it, you'll also hear a dinging sound as well. Going to the sell side, this first command block is an impulse unconditional needs red zone. It's a longer command, but it's slash clear at P bracket has item equals wavy bracket item equals diamond comma quantity equals 16 dot dot close wavy bracket close end bracket diamond 0 16 meaning that it will take the item from the player who has the item of a diamond and they have to have exactly 16 of them so as you can see right here after the 16 there's two dots that means you have to have exactly 16 diamonds to sell it I could change this to 32, but if I do change it to 32, you got to make sure that the last number is also the same as the one after the quantity equal sign. So yeah, I just have it 16 and 16. The second command block is a chain, conditional, always active, and it's slash scoreboard players add at P money 500, meaning that after this first command block notices you have 16 diamonds to sell, it will give you 500 money. And this last one is optional. It's a chain, conditional, always active, and this is the same slash play sound random dot orb at P meaning it'll play a sound effect once these commands work and it'll let you know that you sold your items. So that is the whole tutorial of how to make your scoreboard, make a buy and sell shop with it and do the player offline fix and everything. And if you want to get rid of points or add points to people, just do slash scoreboard players. You could do add and then yourself or your other people and then money and then you type how much you want. So I could, I could give myself 10,000 money and it'll give me it on the right side of the screen. But yeah, that is the whole video of how to make your own scoreboard and store and everything in your minecraft realm or world i really hope this helped you guys out and if you guys have any questions with any problems just let me know in the comments below but yeah if this video helped you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but my name is gabe and i'll see you guys all later peace